So, hey folks, welcome to part 7, and today we are going to be trying to have more of an exciting episode than the last one. Uh, also, something of interest that I thought was of interest, obviously, is uh, that toilet that I just left uh, before I started recording, um, like last time. When I went and hid in the toilet, uh, it wasn't actually like fully rendered yet, it's just like a empty, like low texture box so like none of the cubicles or the save points had spawned in yet uh, and I'd never seen that before so I thought that was a big job unfortunately I was uh, recording at the time <clears throat> but nevertheless welcome to part 7 and uh, yes yeah, so basically I just spent a few hours driving around the, uh, the park in the convicts jeep truck thing uh, which was fun um, and so here we have Susan, I think it's Susan something, I don't know. Uh, and we have Leroy off over here that we need to help. Uh, actually he takes a while, so that was probably not a good choice. You know some of these NPCs like to jabber, well he's, he's one of them. So we'll leave her here. And try and start his Come on. open thing. Go. And also something that should help Go. is that I've changed the um, how the aiming works. So now it should be to do with um, My fault. where the camera is rather than where Frank is looking. Because that was a problem we were having before, like it was just a massive pain in the ass. So hopefully that should be way better this time. And eventually we'll get this guy to follow us. Like there. And then we have to try and transport. Actually, no, we don't. I was going to go and take them across the park, but we have the toilet shortcut. Come here. Alright, slowly. What See? Ridiculous. Here? And off we go. So yeah, 11 o'clock is when like the thing of note is going to happen. So as long as we can get these two up. I think it's like half nine now, or like, it's actually probably around ten o'clock. Um, so we have to get these two to the toilet, get them on the roof, and then hopefully you can like wait there until they're like, oh, now something needs to happen, and then we can go and take them up to the security room. Hopefully Leroy is doing well. He's still got his running animation in the box. I, that is actually quite a good. As, as, as much as most of the AI stuff in this game kind of sucks. Um, Go. The box to show like what they're doing is actually really helpful. Follow Just make me. sure they're close enough. Which they should be. We've still got the cult and everything still back in the... Um, around. Susan, here we go. Turn and run. Okay, so yeah. I've had a lot of technical difficulties with this episode um, cording equipment not working uh, like being jittery and laggy don't no idea why my recording equipment stuff not working um, this is actually a few days after the last uh, episode that I filmed uh, it, it, if it wasn't one thing it was another so we're kind of lucky that all this is working out now, which is why I'm trying to, you know, get everything done. So I want this one to be a good episode where we cover a lot of ground, because I'm sick of the sight of this game at this point. Good. I'll just go ahead and clear these guys out. I like when the head goes, that's good. Come on. Hopefully 
hopefully there's like some sort of health thing. Either in the box on the rooftop or in the security room itself. Because we're looking like we kind of need one. Where is she? I'll have to go and get Susan. I'm amazed she actually held on there. I was sure she was going to let go. Alright, they're all in. So that should be fine. Just... Why is that not? Okay, there. It wasn't activating for some reason. And so check the time, and it's quarter to 11, and I think the last resort thing starts at 11. So yeah, pretty much just wait here for 15 minutes. Which I think is, let's try and work it out. If it's five, um, it's five seconds per minute, I think. So we've got about a minute to go. We can just try. Actually, it's probably a good idea to get them actually up and next to the vent before I Come on. Come on. try and make them do it and they don't work. Now we wait for Susan. I wait for her to. Oh, now she runs. Okay, yeah, now we play the waiting game. Look, it's not too long. So yeah, basically everything like wasn't working, whether it was me, because I'm like ill right now. Um, whether it was the, the recording equipment for no reason. The uh, editing equipment that I use is now being all weird. It has like a black box around it. And I don't know why. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky that this is actually working right now because it hasn't been. I was expecting to get a call from Otis, but I guess we just just go in. Sorry about that. He looks like I look right now. Well, minus the beard. All right, good. Exactly what is this last resort talk all about? Carlito said that he'd blow up the mall if he were cornered. <laughs> Damn, we've got a regular suicide bomber on our hands. It's than what you're thinking. The explosion would send parasitic larvae into the atmosphere. He plans to spread zombies outside of the city? Is he insane? If that bomb goes off, there'll be nowhere to run. The zombies will be everywhere. <sighs> He's planning to flood the area underneath the mall with flammable gas, then set it off. If you could take care of the bombs while the gas concentration is still low, there's a chance we could stop the explosion. Let's do it. All right, so there you have it. He wants to blow it up and spread the larvae. Yeah, we'll save it because I'm not helping them to crappy survivors again. Continue. Bomb collector. This one's this one's very action. Oh, I was gonna. Doesn't matter. Should be fine. Yeah, this one's very actiony. Um, so it should make a good change from the last one. Get a squash again. I think is two. No, it's one. Okay. Make me look like an idiot. Thanks a lot. All right. Good. Great, now we have to listen to her talk again, which wastes more time. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, we have to go to the maintenance tunnel. Which, if you are trying to get the, I think, zombie genocide achievement, where you have to kill, like, the entire population of Willamette, then the maintenance tunnel is, like, a good way to do it. You say, get in a car and drive around, smash into stuff. That was lucky, actually. See, I keep running around with my skateboard, forgetting to use the goddamn skateboard. Uh, and I'm not sure how much to stock up on here. We probably can get rid of one and get some juice and get another juice and we should be alright. Alright. We have three chainsaws, so that's more than enough. So let's head on down here. And the maintenance tunnels are, I think, like round to the right. Wait, if I can... So, there we go. So yeah, there's five bombs. You have to drive around and get the bombs. And like, Collio comes and attacks you. That arrow isn't very good. Look, it's point over here. Yeah, not too bad. There's like a red car. Which we can take in. Unless there's like a cutscene thing, in which case... It's way faster than I remember it being. But okay. We've already smashed the windshield, so that's good. So yeah, five trucks, uh, go around, get bombs, um, that, that's pretty much it. Oh, okay, I forgot about that. So I guess we're walking. Is there one up here? Alright, we'll go left first. Although it's going to be hard to try and keep our skateboard, seeing as how you lose it as soon as you bash into too many zombies. So that's going to be the trick here. So far, so good. You're getting lucky with a lot of these grapples. So now we have Mary Poppins Pockets. I was just showing a time bomb somewhere around there. And now we have the van, which we can use to get along to the next ones. So four left. It's pretty simple, just follow it round. Is that where we came in or is that... Is there a map? Yes. So, okay, we're going to try and go back to that thing, so maybe one there. I think it's pretty much just like every um, little... kind of offshoot. You can... Oh, there's Cleo. You can find one. So there you go, we'll find one here. If you actually get out, which it does, okay. Come on! Alright, so crap, he's coming. I thought he was gonna like smash into us, but he didn't. Oh, good. I mean, I thought he was gonna be right behind us as well, so we avoided that one pretty well. So, yeah, he just like runs into you, throws like little beetle bombs. Yes. Ah, uh, here we're gonna go this way. Oh, 
Like, this is working out well so far. Although this truck will probably run out of... Uh, oh crap. This truck will probably run out of stuff at some point. Fuel. So like the last few we might have to do on our legs. Here he comes. Whoa. I thought we might have just squeezed through there, but no. So yeah, off we go. Go right this time. On. See, like you can see the smoke coming. That that kind of signifies that uh, your vehicle's running out, which is probably obvious too. But nevertheless, okay. Now, now it's now it's dead. So I, oh. we can probably use the um, this. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I guess we get a cutscene. I don't know what happens here actually. Right. I'm gonna go after him. You get those bombs outside, Frank. Still got one more to go as well. All right, so follow the arrow. I was hoping we were gonna be lucky to, we lucky enough to. Um, let's look at this map here. Alright, I'm gonna guess so just forward and right. Yeah, I was hoping we we're gonna be lucky enough to be able to like commandeer his van, but apparently not. Because we play this bit carefully. Which is actually working out quite well. Should be able to get this last bomb. That was close, wasn't paying attention. And all them we've got, but we have to escape now. Well, actually, I think you'll find from my Bomb collector time thing. There's plenty of time for that. Come on, Frank. Now is probably a good time to have some juice. You don't need to waste the other one yet. So now we've lost one. We have two left. It should be enough, hopefully. We now haven't exactly stacked up on one lately. Where are we? So forward, yeah, so right, next right, and then left. See if this angle gets us through. Looks like it's going to be. Oh, okay, cool. You get a nice action explosion jump here.
We got rid of your bombs. This is as far as you go today. Just give up and surrender. The bomb's over and done with. Brad went after Carlito. Copy. Report back here, Frank. Yeah. So yeah, you can go back in and um, see Brad, but honestly, I feel pretty sick, so I'm just going to get to the security room, then we can call it a day. Alright then, let's try and get back to the security room. I think I'm getting like a fever as well. So yeah, that only took us like two and a bit hours. Alright, so I wonder where they put gotcha. Barnaby's corpse. Gotcha. Never mind. Gotcha. 
So yeah, there you go. There was uh, the bomb collector mission, and uh, hopefully you'll join me next time where it looks like <laughs> we'll be hopefully finishing off the the case eight thing. So now we have the Jerry, Jerry, Larry, Larry Chang, uh, butcher fight, or something. Larry, Larry, Jerry, some sort of name like that. Uh, we have to deal with him in the back in the maintenance tunnels in his butcher thing. So that'll happen at five. So I'll just like run around a bit, maybe save that woman um, that I got called about. And I'll see you guys next time for part eight, which actually makes sense because we're on case eight, so that'd be cool. Uh, so hopefully I'm feeling much better and hopefully the equipment will be working, so that'd be nice. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys then for case eight and part eight. So have a great day and see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.